so we're back. Um, we had to stop there because we had the battery issue. Uh, what were we talking about? You were you had a question earlier. Yeah. So I know after the after the Clone Wars, they did mm-hmm. like uh, Star Wars Rebels, right? Oh yeah. Let's so, talk about this. Let's talk about yeah. this. Um. So. <laughs> I hate that show. <laughs> I, I, I watched like a couple episodes. I could I, not get on it at all. Yeah, I didn't like, watch it too I, much, but like, I know it tied into the Clone, the Clone Wars, Wars right? and like adults were like actually watching this. Like, really? like it, like it, like not just kids was watching. Like it seemed like a kid show. Oh well, yeah. But adults were watching the show. Like the Clone Wars, adults were watching the show. Yeah. But like, if you watch Rebels, that is that is a kid show. Through and through, yeah. there is not a single like the best bit. You need, just go watch these bits. Um, it's the bit with where Darth Vader meets Ahsoka, okay? And that's a crazy scene. Like that's a crazy. Just go back watch that clip. That's what I did. I just watched these clips. Like, whoa, that was a really good clip. That was a really right. good scene. And just, I want to talk about the timeline on that because I know the Star Wars: is weird. The Clone Wars yeah. takes place between uh, episodes two and three. No, 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 no. no. Anakin, yes, yes, yes. Anakin. Was, I thought you were talking about Rebels. No, I was like, what? Rebels has to take place after. The after third it's film. like it's like five years before A New Hope is what I heard. Okay. Yeah. So and there's like there's this great there's this awesome Darth Maul and like Obi Wan Kenobi scene. Mm. And they got that 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 scene gave me chills, See, dude. Like I never that, got into this. If, okay, if okay, the but, Rebels, um, if Rebels, if the Rebels show was that. I would totally be on board. Go ahead. So I think I think what's cool that they they had Darth Maul in that. Yeah, they had Darth Maul. So I don't know if you guys saw Solo. Yeah, I, I did. Was so bring that I up. super I liked did. Solo. If you noticed when we saw Darth Maul, like the he bottom had, half, the bottom yeah. half, he had the robotic legs, and in I Rebels he had the robotic yeah. legs, right? Mm-hmm. So obviously those tie in. So I I don't know. I, I think that's super cool. I think because. I don't know if you heard, but they're they're doing an Obi Wan Kenobi movie. For yeah, sure. I, yeah, yeah. It's I it's it. it's almost like for sure at this point because they were they were doing location scouting, mm-hmm. and while you're doing location scouting, that's already pre production. Like you already have a cast, you already have um, a director in place if you're location scouting for the film. So at that point, you're already so far, and Ewan McGregor was was with the he was doing location scouting yeah. with them. And we don't, we know who Ewan McGregor is. He's uh, the guy that played Obi Wan Kenobi and the, from the prequels. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, they have. I mean, like they have to at this. Yeah, point. they've gone. They're so far. Yeah, in, I was so. gonna say, like, if they don't use him, like, yeah. I, I I liked him as Obi Wan in the as a younger Obi Wan mm-hmm. Kenobi. I, I thought he did super pretty, solid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm excited to see. They yeah. To- okay. Yeah. No. Sorry. I was just remembering yeah. in the first episode. I was like, wait. He did have a beard, but not in the first one because no. it was all he was all young. Yeah, but in first. Rebels, little yeah. Beard. In Rebels, yeah. he had a beard. Yeah, in Rebels, he had a beard. Yeah. This this lady came through the drive thru and she I don't know why, but she had like the pattern like a pattern one like her head was like like shaved kind of like this, really? and then it was just like a like a braid strip. And I was you guys. Sorry, I didn't ask you guys her about about her it, but... Tristan Reynolds. No. Yeah, I do. Yeah. He had a Padawan braid his senior year. He, did he really? That was did. that was on purpose. Oh, he did. Yeah. I do remember that. Was yeah. that on purpose? Yeah. Tristan, if he you was, see this, I love you. Was he that into? Um, <laughs> was he that into like Star Wars? I don't know. Yeah, he's just goofy. <laughs> I'm trying to think. You were in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I remember two years ago. You remember Ethan Roberts? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when? Uh, May the 4th, you know, like, or oh wait, no, it's May the 5th, isn't it? No, May no, it's May the, May the 4th. May the 4th? It's yeah, May the 4th. It's May the 4th, yeah. be with you. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, okay, May 5th is uh, Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, May the yeah. 5th, be with you. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. I remember that because uh, we went to the parking lot and Ethan had like, like 10 lightsabers. Like, you pulled them out of the trunk of his car because... It was Star Wars Day, and we had a battle in the parking <laughs> That's block great. after That's school. That's so was, great. He had a robe on and everything. Really? And he was all, like, you know, jumping off cars wow. and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, but um, getting back on track. So there is a... What was I reading? I was reading it right now. 
Well, why you figure that out? Like we were discussing about the uh, producer or director, I don't remember what you oh. said, of The Conjuring. Yeah. The Nun is coming out yeah, this weekend. That's exciting. And I am, dude, I am excited yeah. to see that movie. It looks like that Nun. Went to the VR. Yeah. Oh, man. You, oh, you oh, got to do a review on it. You got to let us know like what, what the movie's about. And then yeah, I'm going to sure. watch Searching sometime this week. Um, that's, Ooh, that's, yeah. that's about uh, a computer screen. Yeah, my girlfriend like, actually just watched that. Um, I'm excited to see that Friday night and she Expect said it's a, a cool, review. It's a really out. crazy twisted movie and the ending like I'm not gonna spoil it Stop, for you guys. stop, yeah, stop. No, I don't want to expect not, a no, twist. No, 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 no. It's just, Okay, it's just crazy. It's, just crazy. It's, just, it's a crazy movie. I'll tell you what this may be off topic But did you guys ever see the movie mother? No. Is that the one with um, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence? Garner or no Garner? <laughs> <sighs> The one, the one in Hunger Games. Yeah, Jennifer yeah. Lawrence. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. It, it is go. okay. Wait, I watched it. Which last. one is it? Is it's it, the one where she's uh, with that guy like who's a writer in like that house. That's like. Oh my cool. gosh, that movie's so weird. Did you watch it all? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh my so gosh. I just watched that. <laughs> last night. You just, just watched that movie last night. I just night. watched it last oh night, my. and I told myself that I, movie looks like a movie I, don't I can even remember that movie. I told myself. I could go the rest of my life without watching that movie, and I was right because when I finished it, it was very disturbing. I was laying in bed, staring at the ceiling, like I don't know if I could go to sleep. Like this movie kind of scares me. <laughs> I have so, no idea what it was about. Okay, that's the thing. Like, you remember when the two brothers showed up at the house? Yeah. And one brother killed the. Other. Mm-hmm. This is a spoilers, but it is very much needed to be talked about. The movie's already been out for a couple months. Yeah, you know, so. and if you haven't seen. Yeah, if you haven't seen it now. You're probably not going to want, yeah. Well, anyways, so... (laughs) Don't watch it. (laughs) Don't watch it. Anyways, uh, so the two brothers, when they showed up, you know, they start fighting, and he bat... One of the brothers bashes Mm. the back of the skull of the other brother, and he dies. Mm -hmm. As soon as that happened, like, it instantly made me think of, like, Cain and Abel in the Bible. Yeah. And I had to look it up, because I was so, like, interested at that point. They're probably referencing that. The The whole movie is referencing... Bible stuff. It's all biblical. Like, Like, the entire movie. If you think about it, the poet, the husband, they call him the poet, he is God. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Lawrence is Mother Nature. So, you know, through the movie, she's like, I just want it to be us. Like, why does people have to be coming into the house? And he keeps saying, I want them here. I don't want them to leave. So, yeah, you get that? Yeah. The guy, uh, the old, the older uh, doctor guy uh, who shows up, he is Adam. His wife who shows up is Eve. So, when the brother shows up, it's Cain and Abel. Yep. You know, he kills his brother. Okay. And as you progress through the movie, like, mm-hmm. she has, like, it, it makes you, it looks like migraines that she's having. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's her connecting, like, the house is earth. Okay. She is building Earth like how it is. The office, I believe, is the Garden of Eden. And there is a crystal on his, uh, I think they call it the Firestone or something. Yeah. There's a crystal on his uh, bookshelf. Or not a bookshelf. It's just a shelf in the in his office, his study space where he writes. That, I'm assuming, is the uh, forbidden fruit. Because the old uh, man, as yeah. Adam and Eve, they go into there and they break it. And as soon as they break it, there is a sexual scene between them right after that. Which means the oh, sin. Okay. Yeah. So, gotcha. yeah. So she's trying to build the house as is, trying to keep them out of the Garden of Eden. Mm-hmm. And um, the god, the poet, you know, keeps inviting people. And she connects with the house. So every time she, like, touches the wall, you can see, like, it looks like a heart. And every time someone comes in, it starts to turn black. And that's the, that's like symbol, like some, what? So is the baby Jesus? The baby is Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Yeah, what it is, heck? yeah, it is super messed up. So, like, if you think about it. You okay, know, you remember, okay, and so, and so at the very end where she's I like, yeah, I can keep giving, I can keep giving. Yes. That's like all their natural resources. Resources, Going yeah. to us. Yeah. Shoot, so, what yeah, the heck? Yeah, yeah. and the, and his um, after they have sex and she gets pregnant, he gets the inspiration. That new piece of writing is the Bible. Even though God didn't write the Bible, it, it signifies like, the Bible, yeah. right? Yeah. But do you remember the scene where the uh, couple, they were leaning on the sink and it breaks and yeah. it floods the house? Mm-hmm. That is the you know symbol oh, the of flood. the flood of the earth. 
the heck? Yeah, it's crazy, right? Like, after I started making all these clips, like, I was like, whoa. Like, I'm starting to really pick up on it. And then all the people, like, show up and there's, like, war inside of the house. That is, like, mm. like famine and all of that, you know, happening. And when she gives birth in the, in the room, when they, you know, barricade themselves in the room, the husband gives them the baby as his, you know, only... Begotten Only son. begotten son. And oh, they take him they and they him. kill him and they literally eat the baby. Oh. It is the most disturbing scene I have ever watched Dude, in my life. That crack, that crack when like Oh baby, yes! I, that is I was so like, cool. no, you did not just do that. I was no. like, okay, that's Jesus. And then they start beating Jennifer Lawrence because, you know, they start beating Mother Nature and she's sick of it. Like God God is trying to tell her, like, we need to forgive them for what they did for killing their baby, you know? But she does not want to. So that's like when she screams, the house starts falling apart. That's earthquakes, like Mother Nature taking back Earth, basically, you know, natural disasters. And then she goes to the heart of the house, which is underneath in that mm-hmm. secret furnace room. And she lights it on fire and it burns everyone, burns the house down. And at the end of the movie, he asks her, like, there's one thing I need, you know, from you. And that's your love. And he like takes it and it's a new crystal. Yeah. And, and the cycle starts the over. The cycle starts over again, and it's a new, it's a new lady it's that wakes up lady, in the bed. But she yeah. does the same exact thing. Same exact thing. It is a very disturbing movie. Like, I, I mean, I gotta give props for. I don't know who directed the movie, but I gotta give props on them, like on their take on that's the movie. Super because it clever. is clever. Yeah, that I never made that connection. That's yeah. <laughs> like I was like. Like, I was so confused. You could make though. that connection with Man of Steel, too. I mean, it's like... Uh, remember Superman, Man of Steel? Mm. Superman is almost like this Jesus character. I remember. And they, they put... Prison. They put... Um, jor puts his... Like, all of Krypton... Like, all of Krypton's, like, uh, like data in, in, the, in the body of one human. Or one Kryptonian. Mm. Sends him to Earth uh, to basically, you know, start a life. You know what I mean? And he he's almost like the savior in the sense that, and if you look at if you look at like not only Man of Steel but Batman versus Superman, he gives his life, right, right for for like see, and that people. could be the holy like Trinity thing yeah. because wow uh, yeah Batman uh, Superman and Wonder Woman that's the that's well no that's I'm not saying that. I'm just saying within <laughs> within like Superman alone yeah as they praise him. But he also dies, so yeah. that means God, yeah. Jesus, but the third Trinity, uh, no, the ghost. That's I guess great. that's him rising from the grave at yeah. the end of Batman vs. Superman. Well, as he yeah. rises. Well, that's still Jesus. Right, but yeah. like the ghost of Jesus, you know, the spirit. You know, Batman carries the spirit of you're the reaching, Justice League. You're reaching. Yeah. <laughs> reaching. <laughs> maybe we're finding, or maybe we're trying to find things that isn't there. But back on track, uh, they're doing a Joker movie. Really? It's around about Joker. About that. Um, but guess it's not going to be the guy from Suicide Squad. Yeah. There's like no it or hate it. Like it or hate it. I, I didn't like the Suicide well, Squad. There we go. Let's, let's, Thank let's, you. Let's, let's just talk about Suicide Squad in general. Did we like Suicide Squad? I liked Suicide Squad. I did not uh, like the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I did not like Suicide Squad at all. I think there's so many plot holes and there's so many like things that are like, so how did that person get there? And they don't explain certain things that it's just kind of like, whoa, you know? And it feels like it's trying to be a lot of things at the same time. Yeah. They really, like, even the beginning, how it's cut and edited, super weird. Like, they do, like, at least five song transitions in the first five minutes. Like, it's some kind of YouTube video, you know? And it feels, like, very weird when they're when they're doing this. I didn't like that. I just didn't like that. And I didn't like I didn't like the Joker in that either. Yeah, I didn't know he's either. terrible. Like yeah. people are saying, we didn't see enough of him. We need to wait till the next one. And I'm like, mm, no. I saw enough yeah. and I made my no. mind. Yeah. I saw um, more than enough. Yeah. He What's made his me name? I think I think Heath I think, Ledger, I have to say, in the Dark Knight. Yeah. He was that, a great Joker. Yeah. Hands down, best Joker. Yeah. Well, yeah. we gotta think about, you know, um Jerry Nicholson. Yeah. I mean, he was really good too. Heath Ledger's still better. I mean, you I can, mean for a you darker say, sense on Batman, like for that dark, if dark. Outtake, maybe if we're doing you know? comic book accurate, yeah. but even then, even then, that wasn't comic book accurate because he was actually like. It all depends on what origin you go with. Yeah, with, right. with the Joker. I mean, mm-hmm. that is right. So, well, 
And the origin story is always... He's like a, fav- he's like a, he's like a failed comedian or something like that. Well, the origin story is never clear with the Joker, I feel like. Yeah, and I... Wow. And then... I, <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm getting a phone call. Should I step out and take it? If you want to. Excuse me. So this, is, this is from the... Sorry. The Dark Knight Joker. No. Is it based on the Joker? What are you saying? Right, Heath Ledger, he's the Dark Knight Joker. He's the, do- he's the Dark Knight Joker. But what I'm what I'm saying, Seth is gone, so we can talk about him. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Seth is a freaking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> he's only here because he has a freaking nice car. Yeah. And he drove us, he drove here. us here. That is the only reason why you're here, Seth. Yeah, Seth, you suck. What are we talking about? No, oh, no, we're talking about the Joker. So, did you like did you like Heath Ledger's Joker? I loved him. Yeah, yeah, he was, was good. good. He was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, but I guess, do you know an actor named Joaquin Phoenix? What did he? Um, I think the most famous movie he's done is Gladiator. Have you seen Gladiator? I don't know. Hmm, let me show you what. It, let me show but you. Is, what it was he like. the main character in Gladiator? Was no, he, he was like the enemy of Russell Crowe's character. So this is this is what he looks like. I don't know. He's so he's gonna he's gonna play he's, Joker. Yeah, but he's a real like he's a really good actor. Like yeah. he's a super good actor. But they're not they're like Jared Leto has like one more film on his contract left. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what they're gonna do with him, and I don't know what mm. like. Can you imagine what Jared Leto f- is thinking right now? Like, yo, they're just going with a completely different Joker now, and it's just kind of like. Well, what do you think? You know how old Jared Leto is? How old? Just go ahead and spitball, I guess. Thirty. Forty-six. Forty-six. Yeah. Dang. That. <laughs> okay. Welcome back. Okay, well, while we're while Thank we're you. talking about um, Jared Leto, about DC villains, yeah, let's talk about the new Lex Luthor. Oh, oh, Jesse Eisenberg. Um, I think he's okay. No, I I hate think him. I, I hate him. I for think Lex Luthor. it's. I I think he's a different kind of Lex Luthor. Yeah, and you kind of have. I like. I don't think, he's, like, I don't think he's right for the lot. role. You, like, got, you gotta have to think of, they're, they're trying to put a spin like on the Mark Zuckerberg and like yeah you know, like these up and coming tech companies kind of CEOs that are different. <sighs> Granted, I I'm a I'm a big Superman fan. Like I love Superman with all of my heart. Okay, and I would I, I think I'd prefer if it was like someone like a Brian Cranston yeah. from Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah. that. Makes one hundred and ten percent sense um, to do him as Lex Luthor, mm-hmm. and je- like, can you imagine like the lines? Just read his, just read his lines from Batman vs Superman, but imagine it in Brian Cranston's mouth. Okay, well the thing like, is that would be so. Cool. The thing is, the way I imagine Lex Luthor is he's he's a, a strong guy. Well, there's he's, that. He's a businessman. There's that. He doesn't he's, care. He's not. He's not. He's very well thought out. He's really well he, thought out. But, but and I think he's very thought out in Batman vs Superman yeah, as well. The new Lex Luthor seems kind of like he seems very, very energetic, like, and like trickstery, you know, like from, jittery. And, yeah, jittery, just like um, very like a lot of energy. Yeah, it's just like a kid, kind of. Yeah, yeah. and I, that's Take like that. like it. How it's I weird. It's how weird. I envision Lex Luthor. It's odd. <laughs> We're all getting phone calls. It's odd. Is Go he's ahead. supposed to be very calm and collected and like, like he's a very like good public standing like like in some of the comics he's been the president of the United States like yeah obviously yeah yeah like he can he knows how to speak and like he looks like that figure and this new Lex Luthor in. He's not in the. I wouldn't say he's most really recent comic. Films doesn't accurate. make no. doesn't make that no. vision at all. And then I also didn't like at the end of the new Justice League movie, where I think that movie is garbage. Yeah, thanks. I'm, For just, sure. letting, I'm just letting you know. I'm but just the way say... it looks garbage. It it feels very muddled. Like if you're just watching it, it feels like there's two, maybe three different movies in there. Just like I, I'm I, I'm an editor, so I know exactly like. 
oh, that scene felt like it was from a different movie. Oh, that scene felt really weird and just very... Yeah, they, like, how they, they shot flow. these things. You know and the editing they had to do for the CGI, like, just over look, his face? Just look at his face. Like, that's <laughs> a disaster. His that's bad. Uh, Superman. That doesn't look Because he good. had a beard. So no, they he had, had a mustache. Or a mustache. Yeah. I think yeah. it was for another film or something. Yeah, Mission Impossible. Fallout. Right, 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 right. I forgot. So I Paramount had, like, some kind of like control don't over shave your mustache. Yeah, don't shave your mustache or because else it just we're going it back. Like if like that's like it would make more sense for Paramount to just shave off his mustache and put a really nice prosthetic one or fake or fake one or something like that and then like that would your prosthetic is for like No, yeah, pro- I, don't know why I was using prosthetics. <laughs> I was like, just like <laughs> uh... it would be less money to do to put something on his face than to remove something off his face. Yeah, they made a million dollar yeah. movie look like garbage. It, they, that, they, you know, the, at the end of the day, they had to do reshoots because, well, do you know all the backstory drama what happened with that? So uh, I guess Zack Snyder's, Zack Snyder's director of Batman vs. Superman, he was in charge or he was going to di- direct Justice League. He goes into direct Justice League. They they were directing Justice League right when Batman vs. Superman came out, okay? Batman vs. Superman... Critics did not like it. 27% percent run Tomatoes. No one liked it. They were saying, well, Batman I didn't kills. Like Batman kills. You know, uh, Superman is really depressed and dark. And that's really weird. They didn't like that. Warner Brothers goes in, and I'm assuming... This is just some kind of... I'm just assuming what happens. But I'm assuming Zack Snyder tries to maybe do some adjustments to Justice League... And then they, he has a cut finished. He has, ha- he has to have a cut finished. And what, what, what doesn't make sense to me is they were saying that there's no Zack Snyder <coughs> cut to Justice League. But there is. There has to be. Right. Because why would Henry Cavill go into, go into a Mission Impossible production, Mission, Mission Impossible film production, and knowingly, like, oh, I'm going to have the mustache now. Because I can have the mustache now. Because I'm not filming Justice League yeah. anymore. Okay. So Warner Brothers goes in, right after Zack Snyder has done a shoot, they're like, okay, we don't like this, okay? And, um, and this is just speculation. I'm, ex- I'm speculating what happened over here on this side. And I'm assuming they fired him. They brought in uh, director of the Avengers, Joss Whedon, to come and do crazy reshoots to the film, okay? Mm-hmm. And he, he's a, he's, he has a screenwriting cred, but he directed the film. Like, he directed that whatever that monstrosity of Justice League. He had to direct a new film in like three months. He had like three to four months to f- complete whatever. But Warner Brothers goes back and um, I guess Zack Snyder's daughter committed suicide um, back in March See, of I, last year. I don't know anything about that. Yeah. I'm not a DC so, comic so person. So Warner Brothers was like, this, uh, this, uh, this is speculation too. Zack Snyder steps off of Justice League because his daughter passed away. Okay. And I mean that makes sense. That does make sense. I mean to be honest with you, I mean like that you you're you're not really in your right mind. You're not really creatively if something big like that happens. You know you're just you're not there. But I could see it as you know Warner Brothers standpoint to be like oh so now we can we have the opportunity to exit Zack Snyder instead of like just firing him <laughs> and making like, Sorry, this huge like... PR problem. You right. know what I mean? I just talked a lot there. Um, yeah. Well, the thing you, is, like, my think? intake on like DC comics, you know me. I'm a yeah. Marvel. I'm a diehard Marvel yeah, fan. Yeah. I like. I wasn't really into like when Batman vs Superman came out. Like, and I saw that. I'm a diehard DC though. I, yeah. I the thing is, I grew up with all the animated series. Like, yeah. I was watching those shows. Like, like Batman the animated series. Like the Justice League shows back in the day. Teen yeah. Titans. Like. Oh yeah, no, I agree with that. Stuff, but like. like I like Batman I when I was stuff. growing up, like Batman Begins, like with Christian yeah. Bale and uh, um, Michael Keaton too. and like yeah. all those bat. Okay, George Clooney, that's a little far fetched as like a good Batman. I didn't really like it. I was into it as a kid. I was into it as a kid. As a kid, yeah. I, yeah. I thought it was so cool. Whenever like it's a kids movie. Whenever like, <laughs> there's Poison <laughs> Ivy and then. Like, Poison Ivy kisses Robin, and then Robin, he all tricks her. He's like, ever heard of fake? Oh, yeah. Yes. And I was like, oh, yeah, Robin. <laughs> yeah. You got it. When I was young, I was like, yo, I'm going to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, with your little cuties like, trade. <laughs> back in the 
No, but um, <laughs> kids had to have made that. I mean, yeah. come on. As a kid, <coughs> I would totally like that. Seems like I would make that up when I was a kid. Like you just have right. like, peel away plastic lips, lips yeah. or something. But I do have to say, uh, Ben Affleck as Batman. I, I think he he I think did he a, did I, the character well. I just whoever designed the damn well. suit like. What were There's they thinking? Way what? Too much. No. So, too no. Much. I love his garbage. suit. It's garbage. No. It is he complete is garbage. Batman is like this over menacing. In Batman for Superman, Batman was done justice in some sentences, in some sentences, in some instances. There you go. Where he was like this really scary figure. Come on. He was this guy Batman was a sca- he was basically the villain. You know, he was like this scary guy. Okay. Do you remember okay. that scene where the cops were like going suit. up? suit. Do you okay, remember? Hold on. I'm, you remember when the cops on. were like going up and then all of a sudden, like the cop is like turning his head and then you just see Batman in the corner. See, Daniel. Just hanging out. Daniel. No, Did I'm you saying, not get goosebumps? No. Right? Okay, see, I'm oh. saying. That's exactly <laughs> that was the point. Like, That's exactly what? the point. Daniel. I think Ben Affleck was, like, was great. Yeah. Batman isn't a villain though. I know, but that's the thing. He's, yeah. he's a vigilante. He's, he's a, a vigilante. Dark, I know. Vigilante. He's a vigilante, but, but if you go back to the comic, guy, if you go, yeah, 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 that does make sense. Yeah. So he's not supposed to be portrayed as a villain. No, but he like he's at the end of his wits right now. He's like he's like he's Robins have died at this point. Yeah, so, but the thing, Dick okay. Grayson had died. Yeah. He, Dick he, Grayson, because Dick Grayson wait. goes on to be Nightwing. So yes, that is a good point. That. I forgot so about that. Maybe that would have been, been, been Jason Todd. Todd. That might have been Jason Todd. Yeah, you're right. Okay. That might have been well, Jason no, Todd. That was like one not of my the argument died. whatsoever. <laughs> my argument was just the costume design alone. I you personally like, like Christian Bale's Batman I like, I like costume. The... Like, far. Hold on, let me just. Stupid. Wrong. I still like I still like Batman's costume just, uh, the, the, from that uh, one. It just. It, I think that looks way more comic book accurate. That looks way more comic book. See, okay. I think, just look at, just. I'm voting for Christian Bale's suit. Like it just that's looks a good. lot more. There you go. That's a good one. Like I think that's he actually bulked up. Like this guy. No, 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 no. Ben no. Affleck is built to okay, be Batman. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not okay. saying just Ben see, Affleck. I think I'm his face looks look so weird in the mask. I am just Ben Affleck's face. Yeah. I I'm, think it just. I think his face looks like. I just don't care right now. Like this guy, he's like, like that's that's like I don't. You need to watch um, uh, the Dark Knight Returns. I have. You seen that movie? Yeah. It, the animated movie. Not the Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight Returns. It's this. It's like this. Oh, the crazy one with the animated the one movie. with the mutant. The mutant guys. Yeah. I love that movie. Yeah. That yeah. that's what they were trying to base it off. of. That was Batman vs Superman. Now, yeah. now you think the context. Batman was supposed to be at the end of his time, you know? This okay. is what Batman's about to give up. You know? Yeah, okay. See, the so, only problem I have with the costume yeah. is the mask. Okay, the problem. I, wish, I, have a, I, I like the mask. I like his size. Yeah. I like his bulkiness. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, as a millionaire, it yeah. looks like he took a sack of potatoes, took the sack, dropped the potatoes, and stitched it together to make the damn, like, That's no. awesome, Like, though. that's literally I what it that looks is like. so cool. Like, he just, <laughs> he's at the <laughs> end... <laughs> He just doesn't care, man. No, he's wearing a sack of potatoes because he's wrecking dudes, man. He's yeah. wrecking guys. Okay. And you can see, like, just looking at a suit, the story told in that suit, where you could tell, like, yo, that's probably where the penguin tased him or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, like, yeah. you can but totally I'm just saying, see. Like, Christian Bale suit, the gadgets on that thing, mm-hmm. like, yeah. Yeah, okay. a lot more gadgets, yeah. Okay. Something I suit wish they versus took from, yeah. Okay, so like, let, I'm gonna compare Christian Bale versus Ben Affleck okay, go ahead. without the suits, right? One minute. I like. Okay, I got this. All right, <laughs> I like Ben Affleck bulkiness, size, everything. Christian Bale was a skin, uh, slimmer guy, so his suit necessarily was slimmer. Ben Affleck's just looks like there was not a lot going on yeah. on the suit. That's mm. what I did. I felt like it was so doled down that it just it looked like he was. In a freaking like spandex. That's literally like you know a yeah. Spider-Man origin story. Like Spider-Man, he was poor. He came from Brooklyn yeah. as a poor you know lower class person and had to work with what he had. I mean did Tony Stark, granted, like you know yeah. in the the actual like the new Spider-Man did give him the new suit. Go ahead. Based on comics and stuff like MCU and you know all that. But 
What I'm saying is, like, with the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, he made his own suit, you know, and, like, when he got his actual official suit, he still made that. Yeah. Ben Affleck, it looks like he stuck with the schoolboy, like, first design suit. Yeah. Christian Bale suit looks like a modified, like, G.I. Joe character. That's what I liked about it. It looked like... If Ben Affleck came up with me in a freaking knapsack versus Christian Bale, You'd be scared. I would, either You'd way, be I'd scared. be scared, but I'd in be probably... In a dark hall, <laughs> would you be more scared? A guy, Christian Bale, in that, like, crazy, like, over-armored suit? Or would you be more scared, this crazy six-foot-four... That's how tall Ben Affleck is. He's six-foot-four. Total muscular not, monster man. We're not saying he doesn't look bad. In the suit. No, no, yeah, no. In the suit. He looks this. great for the part. Yeah. yeah. But the suit, okay, knapsack suit. I'm, I'm calling it I, hashtag I, knapsack suit. I, I like Batman when he is stripped away from all his gadgets. Where at the end of the day, like, gr like it's great when he has like, like I hate it in Arrow when, like, okay, we'll just hack him and then we'll get in. You know, yeah. I hate that. I hate that. I did not that's watch why Arrow I stopped watching. All over the place. That's why I stopped watching Arrow and that's why I stopped watching The Flash because they do this thing where they're like. We have all the gadgets to get into this headquarters and do this and do this. And, and it's like, it feels like the stakes are just everywhere. Like, okay, so now it just okay, feels you've very you've got to realize yeah. that Batman doesn't have any powers. The reason he yeah. has the gadgets is because of his brain. Yeah, but yeah. Like, exactly. But if, 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 if you bring Batman away from like, like Batman could have built... In Batman vs Superman, Batman could have built like a big mech suit and taken on Superman. Right, but Which, he just built like his armored suit. Yeah, yeah. But it was like an armored suit, and you could tell it wasn't crazy looking either. You know, yeah. it was just super. It's super dull. It's classy. It didn't. It didn't even have the Batman logo on it. Yeah, like that's. I love that. Like it was. It's. It wasn't even Batman anymore. That was Bruce Wayne. Uh, right. Superman. See that, and those that, are two characters. And that's a thing. Fighting I each other. Have to say. Between Tony Stark and, and something, something I wish that that the, the Batman suits had that I that I crave from like the Spider Man suits is Spider Man, he has like the it's just white eyes and in the comics Batman has the white eyes like can you imagine right. Right. putting cool. that on like the yeah. bat the Ben Affleck even in the suit. animated series you can see he's Batman got the white eyes. eyes yeah I just think I think and the it, Batman it suits be, it would weird. fit it would fit with who Batman is it would just is make because sense because dude. he does have the gadgets and it could do a little focusing. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. what I do have to say about when you said stripping down and it was just Bruce Wayne it's versus just, Superman. Yeah. They did it's do the a comparison. It's stripping down of like, like he, it's like taking away his guns, you know, it's taking away everything. And now, like, that suit, that's what that suit represents. It's just complete brute force. That Not is true, true, but he no. did use a shotgun with freaking, uh, yeah, with well, kryptonite. Yeah, kryptonite. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kim, so, I do forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not... <laughs> no, 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 but the thing like, is, no, what I was just saying, comparing to Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. Tony Stark is also a billionaire. Yeah. Without Tony Stark's money, he has his brains, but... Have you seen Iron Man 3? Iron Man 3 is pretty good. Of course it's... Okay. I love Marvel, Daniel. I like uh, Iron Man. Okay, we need, to, we need to end the Batman conversation. Yeah, we, no, we, need need DC. We, need, we, need, we need to end DC. We need to end DC. We need to end DC. Nuka. No, 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 no. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying we need to end DC's I love DC, uh, topic because we've been on yeah, yeah. we've been on DC and the no, whole but like I love this, I love this conversation because oh, yeah, no, it's great. you love Batman. I love Batman. We're talking about the He's suit. Alright. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love Batman too. Yeah. I think out of like all the DC <laughs> characters, Flash is my favorite. Okay. Because if I have okay, the card, while we're talking about Flash. The new Flash. I don't like him. Think that's what I don't I'm like saying. him at all. He, they they tried to make him like the like the Tom Holland Spider Man. Oh yeah, they but did. But it doesn't work. It, it doesn't, doesn't work for you him don't do at it. all. Yeah. So. Barry Allen, Barry Allen in the comics and in the TV shows, he is a calm, sophisticated guy. Like I was saying about knows what he's doing. Just a little different. Exactly. He knows what he's doing, but this guy. I guess he was yeah, smart. because he was scared like to Barry fight. Allen. You know? Yeah. No, I don't know if you watch. Not, that's not how yeah. Flash is. You, yeah, I don't know you if know. you've seen, uh, like, uh, any of the Ezra Miller behind-the-scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, he's a super intelligent guy. Oh, yeah. No. Like, well, yeah. I mean, in the CW, smart. that they touch. Because uh, like with uh, like Star was, Labs. Yeah, like. As he goes in there. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, he's a Dr. He's Wells. A super yeah. successful 
Yeah, he's, he's smart. He's super, college super and... smart scientist. Yeah, so that's he's a uh, CIA he's not... Uh, or not CIA. What am I talking about? He's a uh, forensics or something. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. CI. I don't know. Wait, crime scene. CSI. CSI. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> CIA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wrong time. No, but I, I just, I just think that, like, the, yeah, that that character could have been handled better. But I think it was, I think it was okay. For a new iteration, right? Like sometimes you need to leave your like expectations. Even the Flash's new suit. I mean, no, he was but built by... but sometimes like when you're when you're watching a film, you kind of have to leave your expectations right. like at the door. Like okay, everything that I'm expecting, like this is someone that this like he someone made this, okay, and I think we need to judge on the execution rather than what's being brought to us. You know what I mean? Right. Like you wouldn't judge like when you're eating pizza. Like, you're going to judge on how good it tastes, not how good... You're not going to compare it to Little Caesars, are you? No, because Little Caesars is... Mm. That's just a different... <laughs> no, 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 I feel like... You know? I feel like since it doesn't mean it's bad. these are adapted from comics... Yeah. They should have some source material. Right. They should be connected to the source material. No, so I feel I like you can compare... I completely... I, yeah, I think that to a certain extent you can. Um, but, like, if you look at the Christian Bale movies... They're not comic book accurate whatsoever. Any of them. Yeah, I mean, because they're still dark. In that. No, yeah, they're still dark, and and they're and they're executed very well. Yeah. That's why. But we they like don't them. connect. I get. I like, get. I get your argument. It, it doesn't like even even Bane. But, but even the, Bane in the Dark Knight Rises. Okay. <laughs> he's supposed to be this mindless guy in the comics, you know. Yeah. No, I don't know. All right. But the thing, the thing about those movies, and Bane is, wasn't even connected to the League of Shadows, but he was in the movie. Go ahead. Is that Batman? Is how Batman is supposed to be. Okay. The Ben well, Affleck Batman yeah. was not. He wasn't that. He, he was. He was killing people. We're getting back on Batman. We're not supposed to do that. So. No. Uh, actually, so I, I wanted to make it, a point. I want to make a point too. But okay. No, closing no, thoughts. Closing arguments. Okay. Well, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Want to go first or you go first? Oh no, go ahead. Go first. So closing arguments. I completely agree with you, Kyler. Um, and I think that. When you when you begin Batman and if, if you're beginning like a cinematic universe like DC is right now and they're still early in their early days, and it's pretty bad, you know, like it's a pretty bad cinematic su- cinematic yeah. universe. No, it, it's all, <laughs> Leslie. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, like you wouldn't you wouldn't start your Justice League off with a fifty year old Batman. That's all I'm saying. Because that it makes more sense if you're gonna begin Justice League with like a thirty year old Batman or someone mm-hmm. like twenty eight, you know. We're always like, yeah, Batman is interesting over there. Like he's super interesting when he's fifty. He doesn't give a fuck. But you need to know. Beep. You need to know. <laughs> like you need to like we want to see if he's gonna be in Justice League. I think he needs to be younger. You and know? I think that might tie into why the DC universe is making their own thing right now. Because they're doing way better on television. Like I and, would rather. And that watch gives them the television that gives stuff. them the opportunity to restart. Okay, yeah. and they can do away with the cinematic universe that they have. Well, I hear that they're trying to revamp with Flashpoint. Flashpoint was really great. The Flashpoint okay. Paradox. You, you yeah, need to watch the, no, no, not not the not the series, not in the one the no, show. No, you're talking, talking about, about like, actual Flashpoint. I'm talking about the movie, goes, the animated movie. Where he goes oh. into the uh, other that universe. That is crazy. I want to see that in where the DC Bruce movie. dies and the mom or the dad is still alive. Yeah, and then like can and you then imagine the mo- Bruce's yeah. mom is like the Joker. Joker. That is nuts. Like, can yeah, you, and I the, love that. Like, that's yeah, how you can. That. <laughs> that's how you can reboot your DC universe. Like, I think that's that's how you do it. That's how you re. That's how you reboot. I mean, obviously, you keep the Flash, but I think you can. You can. You okay, can. But you do realize that yeah. animated is a lot different than live action. You I can know, do a I know. lot more with animated with than live animation, action because yeah. you can only squeeze so much money and time into a live action movie. Anyway, well, like, you can sit there for hours at a desk and But you guys all... seen Flashpoint, right? Everything yeah. like at towards yeah, I mean, I know what Flashpoint so, like, is. But... Everything go like Barry Allen goes in time, saves his mom, comes back, everything is different. Right. Mm. Okay. He's not even the Flash, is he? No, he it's a uh, kid Flash. Well, I mean in the oh, CW no, the... series, it's Yeah, he's got to right? get like electrocuted again. Yeah. That? Like that's cool. Yeah. Um, and then like towards the end See, of that movie, can you imagine showing a brand new Batman. 
like Ooh, it, yeah, would, it wouldn't be, so be Ben Affleck anymore because Dude, ben that'd Affleck be so, so much, trippy. Like it wouldn't be; it'd be a brand new Batman. It would like, be not still, it would Bruce still Wayne. be it would no, it would still be Bruce Wayne, but I it would just be a new actor. You know, uh-huh. it'd be int- reintroducing because obviously we can't have we can't have Ben Affleck anymore because Ben Affleck doesn't want to be in the role anymore. Okay, because he's been. I guess See, that's yeah, one thing I do like have him. to say. Uh, Marvel did really good. I mean, they did have their yeah. hiccups, like um, in the beginning with Spider, like Tobey Maguire Spider Man, and then they had Andrew Garfield as Spider Man in the Amazing Spider Man. But, but, but the Marvel didn't even have control over that. That was all Sony. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I know that was uh, directed by Sony and everything. But uh, like when the Incredible Hulk movie came out, that was I want to yeah. say that um, was that was still under Marvel, but. Universal was pushing that out or something yeah. like that. It was when like, that was okay, uh, the Incredible Hulk. I'm not talking about the Hulk where it, like just was okay, trying. We need, to... we need to wrap this. We need okay, to wrap yeah, this okay. section. You know what? We will save our uh, DC and our Marvel <laughs> okay, this for is, the next this podcast. This should be. This podcast. should be. No, this yeah. is a DC podcast at this point. We can't. We can't, I, mean, I am not. No. 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 I no. 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 I'm just saying this episode. Is. Okay. Yeah. This I'm just episode. saying at this episode because I hate. Like DC. at this point. We're like, we're so into DC right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. We like, seriously, we were going to yeah. set time frames for what we were going to talk about. and then we But we lost track of time. Um, yeah. Okay, let's let's talk about, what's some other news? I'm going to look at some other news. It's what's trending. Something Marvel. Um, Are you ready? We got to talk about The Runner. Yeah, we need to talk oh, about yeah. our actual stuff because we're pretty close on time. Pretty close on time? Okay. okay. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what we're what we're gonna be doing. So, what's the runner about? All right, so the runner, I'm I'm the runner, and Seth actually has no idea what it's about. Yeah, tell me because I've okay, only seen yeah. the one trailer and was not informed. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Ask for any help in this okay. production. Yeah, well, that was on purpose. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> any, anyways, the runner is about this. This track runner who takes takes he's super famous. Right. He yeah. takes he takes the goal at the Olympics and he's just so high on life. Mm-hmm. High on life. He he's just like thinks he's better than everyone else. He has such a big ego and he comes back home and he realizes Don't reveal the end. Just kinda set it up. Okay. Yeah. So Unless you want no, you can, can tell by the end <laughs> off screen because yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll tell us about this off yeah, screen. Yeah, okay. But I because we want to reveal. Him. So, anyways, he realizes that his that he's not as big as he thinks he is, and people don't really phrasing. what. I said phrasing, but go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh well, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't catch. Anyways, he's again. he has his uh, agent, who's Daniel, and um. Basically, they get into a fight, and... I, I kind of picked up on that after we filmed. I did jump in at, like, okay, can I jump in? Somewhat. Yeah. Because, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut out what you said right there. Because I don't, did you not want me to I didn't want to do the fight thing, because we don't know until that actually happens. I think that's a big spoiler. We yeah. did not. So, cut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking... Okay, so the runner is about uh, a man who... Girl stars. So yeah. Oh, okay. You, you better go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, yeah, I kind of. She texted me like two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, wrapping up. So the runner is about this guy, who who's really high on life. He really thinks he's the best. He's better than everyone else. He's like this super. He's got a huge ego. Right. And something happens along the film where he realizes that he's not all that, and he needs to change that. And the runner. Uh, comes out um, September fourteenth on YouTube. So go ahead and check it out. That's the on the no, not this. Well, we can't. Can we put it on this channel? But we're gonna put it on yours, right? Uh, it's gonna be on my channel for at least first first two weeks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this. we'll throw his channel and the link in the description, so you guys can check out that movie. Yeah. Uh, I did. I did show up for like ending production stuff. They needed a new yeah, support, yeah. so I made a cameo. Yeah, is there news report? And we got tons of BTS. Coming. Oh, we do. Speaking of which, that will be, be posted on Wednesday yeah, of this awesome. week. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so I gotta edit that. <laughs> that'll be posted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I also want to talk about our video production uh, stuff that we're gonna be doing. Um, I 
attend car meets on a weekly basis. So I have been handing out business cards, trying to get in the world of cars to do uh, videos for uh, foreign cars, American muscle, basically anybody who has a car they want to be shown. Uh, I just did uh, actually a, a recording with, or not a recording, a, a, a session with yeah, uh, yeah. a good friend of mine. Uh, today before the podcast so that actually will be up on this channel on friday i have to edit that too so other than that i mean uh i think uh, so quick question seth for the camera um do you like your car <laughs> see this channel doesn't know what i drive and i'm gonna save that that's gonna be the second that's, episode that's gonna be this of the video, yeah, car video production. And yeah, so Kyler, yeah. I do like my car. Yeah, really? Huh? Big yeah. thing coming. That's so weird because you. It's the in the runner. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to rebrand CC Films, and CC Films is much bigger than me and Seth. It's it's gonna be this huge thing. More, I want more creators coming in because I feel like there are so many different unique stories that we can tell about different people, um, and I think. Uh, we're rebranding Cecilia. You revealed that earlier in the podcast. I did reveal that? Yeah. yeah. So, CC, so, actually, CC, do you mind if I actually talk ahead, about the origin ahead. of CC films? You can talk about the origin okay. of CC films. So, <laughs> all right. So, the beginning of high school, I created a YouTube channel called Cake Sauce. I'll talk about what Cake Sauce actually is in another video. But, uh, so that was my YouTube channel name, and it's still there. I just don't, I mean, I still game. I just, I don't make videos anymore. It's yeah. a lot of work. And it is you can't really capture funny moments and force funny moments in gameplay. And so. you don't want to do that. And I don't want to do that because it's not authentic. Yeah, it's, it's not authentic. It's not fun. Yeah. So uh, I kind of ended that. And his last name is Considine. And we were trying to come up with a... I think this was June, like between junior and senior year uh, that summer. Um, yeah, yeah, it was, it was yeah. right after junior year. Yeah. Um, our principal actually introduced us to each other, and we started doing uh, video stuff for the school. I forgot about that. You're yeah, right. you had your braces. I did have my braces back then. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we so we weird. branded ourselves as CC Films for Cake Sauce and for quite a while. Yeah. For just just because it it was catchy, it was easy easy to remember. Yeah. And I think our very first film on the channel was, was the Leslie. box. No, it was the box. We released that on my channel first. Right, right. Because really? I had more subs. Uh, well. You had more subscribers, but you felt uncomfortable posting it to yours. Yeah. I didn't understand why that you didn't... Oh, well, I mean, that. like, I remember because you are like, you should post it on your channel. Yeah. I, I just never really got around to it, and I just, I don't know. I just... You felt I, like something new. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I feel like I, if I had the choice, I would love to continue to game and post. Yeah. That, that was my first... I mean, I've had multiple channels before that, but, yeah. like, that was my first actual good channel that reached a good amount of subscribers and like a good community it was pretty cool but, subscribers? i think it was like oh, it's about 60. It's like, i mean that's that's pretty good that's, but it's a lot a freshman, to get, yeah, yeah, yeah for a freshman yeah and like i was being around a school, school schedule and yeah. sports you know going around that right time. i played football for yeah, like yeah, four, eight years of my life yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I'm glad I met Daniel, yeah. and uh, we, we can start this awesome journey. And that's uh, kind of why we're doing podcasts, too, because yeah. we do want to, like, a brain... I mean, I this feel is like a good commentary yeah. stuff is really big on YouTube. Right. And I feel like I've really enjoyed this conversation, guys. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I mean, like there's no this. AC in this room, and I am... I forgot about the no AC. Dude, I just I, I just got so can, passionate about dude, Batman, I and I was like... Cannot, <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing a, I might wear a tank top but next podcast. Coming back, coming back to the story about CC Films, we realized that CC Films, more people want to be a part of these stories and these ideas and these videos. And uh, branding it under both of what we know is just not fair to those people. And I think that something under Cecilia and um, is something that's you can it's all inclusive and it still honors what came before. So all in the package. Yeah. <laughs> what is Cecilia then? It's just a, okay. Well, yeah. See, CC is short for Cecilia, mm -hmm. and we wanted to rebrand <laughs> it. Can you, can you tell us? Can you tell me what was that? We were driving in the car, and he's like, what do you think about Cecilia? I was like, Cecilia. I Cecilia thought it was Films. so stupid. Cecilia Video Production. 
I kind of like, like it. it. He's like, oh, I was like, not really that <laughs> serious about it. I'm like, why not? It actually sounds pretty catchy. Because I was thinking CC, and I was like, Cecilia is like a... Cecilia. 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 I don't know, it's kind of catchy. I like yeah. it. I think we'll stick think with it. And if yeah. not, we're always stuck with CC Films. So. Gonna, yeah. yeah. We're using both. Our business cards say CC Films. Yeah. And our... For more of our personal use yeah. and then for, for like big network stuff like yeah. we're doing like this is Cecilia. So yeah, that. so basically CC Films yeah. would probably be doing the short films. Yeah. And Cecilia Film, uh, Cecilia Video Production will be, excuse me, uh, doing the... Because um, we're, we're going to try aiming into the music industry as well. So we'll be doing... What? <laughs> no, like for music videos, like oh, music video okay. production, like, not like actual like us. Like, are we rapping? <laughs> no, no, no. No. no, no, I mean like we're, we're trying to aim in that uh, area as well. So, um, just me being a part of like a car community, um, it was easy for me. I passed out thirty, yeah, business cards right two on. nights or no, it was last night. I passed out thirty business cards and I was my phone was blowing up by the time I, don't I got about home. You, but I'm, I'm down to rap. Down to rap? You can rap? <laughs> in West Philadelphia, born and raised. Playgrounds where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, and relaxing. I thought you were going to stop that chill out. <laughs> most of my days, and then end it right there. No, but guys, we're going to end it right here because we're it's getting long, and it's not 8.30 right now. Huh? Phrase it. Phrase what? Phrase what I just said, right? Okay. If you guys watch Archer, you will know what I mean by phrasing. Oh, I don't watch Archer. I watched the first, like, three episodes. Yeah, this like, guy doesn't like it. I liked it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this anime show. Oh, I know what Anyways. Archer is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, we'll, we'll see you guys next yeah. week. Um, Not a lot of Would you guys... We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. I'm just kidding. The cameras off. Um, but we'll see you guys hopefully soon. Uh, we're going to do a lot. We're doing tons of BTS stuff. Um, that is what CC Films is. It's we're, we do tons of like projects and things like right. that, and uh, can, we're gonna get two movie reviews hopefully in this next coming upcoming week. The Nun next week. You expect to see a movie review on? Uh, that. well, like it's coming out this next weekend. I might see it the Monday after the weekend because like my, like uh, so it's coming out this Saturday. Yeah, it's coming or out this the, Friday. So you're, you'll this... see it this Monday. You think you could release like a just a quick review, like something that's yeah. I think I could whip something up. Yeah, I mean, uh, I got, I got, whatever, uh, whatever you can do. Wants you need to see it with her, so that's why I'm saying she's gonna. She's actually going to Oregon. Okay, we need to wrap this up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she's actually going to Oregon. Okay, they need to know that. Um, <laughs> you do. It's important it's information. Seth's <laughs> grandma will be in Oregon. <laughs> Where's your dad gonna be? Next week. Shoot, he'll probably be here in, yeah. um, in Benson. Yeah. In case you were wondering. <laughs> you know where we live. Um, Actually, no. I don't live in Benson Okay, anymore. we'll see you guys <laughs> later. Uh, please go like, subscribe, share if you like the podcast. Um, we didn't get to exactly everything we wanted to talk about. Like, yeah, I wanted to talk about DC like, like, stuff. Like, that's all we did an was. Hour. Yeah, we're at an hour right now. We're exactly an hour. So uh, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, should we do a podcast next week? Could you do this Sunday? podcast yeah not this late though obviously not this late we'll, we'll do because i work we'll talk about this yeah, later we'll, we'll see you guys yeah. later All peace right. out like and subscribe peace out like link in the description <laughs> <laughs> that's great okay i am literally sweating oh, out of yeah. pore in my body once we get outside it's gonna hit us it's gonna like oh we've been filming for an hour and a half